I'm Bernadette Doyle. You're watching Bernadette TV and this is episode two in my series on how to find the hidden money in your business. So if you missed episode one, first thing, let's get you up to speed. You can go and click there. And over the next three episodes, including this one, I'm going to be talking to you about the key areas that I look at in a business to help me find the hidden money. Imagine that, those invisible piles of cash that are right under your nose, those untapped opportunities that can lead you to great wealth and prosperity. Okay, so the first area that I look at when it comes to looking for hidden money is I look at current transactions. Now, what I mean by that is where is money currently changing hands? Always, always, always the first place to look is where money is changing hands because that's clearly something that's already working in the business. And so the question I ask is, are there ways to um, optimize or improve how money changes hands? So for example, let's say that there are 10 transactions a day, each of $100 a piece. So there's $1,000 a day in revenue. Um, is there a way to turn that $100 transaction into a $200 transaction? There could be lots of ways to do that. One might be to raise the prices. Two might be to sell in bigger packages, bigger bundles. So there are just the transactions that are happening. If you can make those transactions larger somehow, um, it might be that you carry on with a $100 a day transaction, but you add an upsell. That means the average order value over the day increases. So there are places that you can start by looking at transactions where you can immediately make the, the volume or the size of the transactions bigger or both. And if you do both of them, then you're actually going to grow sales exponentially. And right there, there's hidden money in the business. So the first thing I'm going to invite you to do is to look at where are, what transactions are currently happening in your business. So are there people that you are doing business with on a regular basis? Can you get them to do business with you more frequently? Can you get them to increase the average order value? So you need to be creative about how you do this. This isn't just about going up to your existing customers and say, hey, do you wanna buy some more? You wanna think about how can you add more value to them? You know, the classic McDonald's questions, do you want fries with that? Increases the average order value in McDonald's. It increases the volume, the, the size of the transactions that are taking place. Um, and it's just one simple question and it's just offering something extra. So that may be a way you can do it. So this week, or before you move on to the next episode, I really want you to start to look at where is money currently changing hands in your business? And are there things that you could do to make money change hands more frequently or to make money change hands in larger sums or both even? So that's your homework from this episode. Go and figure that out. Feel free to post your comments or questions in the boxes below. I'd love to help you out with this. And I look forward to seeing you on episode three out of our Hidden Money in Your Business series. See you on the next episode, it's coming right up.